now you can see the website is about to ready but what we need to do is at the last we need to pass data from the back end to this author section and to this related post section so let's see how to do it i'm going to open the section one right here you can see i'm going to have this author component so to this author i'm going to pass this variable author inside this author as you know we have the data so if you open the pages api data then you can notice we have this author object here and using this object you can pass name image and designation so let's pass this value to this author component so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get this author from this data and then i'm going to pass that right here so i'm going to pass here an object pass a triple dot and pass author so i can destructure all these properties inside the author component so inside this child here i'm going to open the author and inside this parenthesis right here i can say name img and designation just out of that here i'm going to say if i don't have name and if i don't have image then i'm not going to print the author instead i'm going to return nothing and if we have name and image then i can specify that right here so i can just simply specify here the image the name so here inside this i'm going to specify the name and then i'm going to specify the designation like this back to my project now when i go to the browser you can see i'm going to get the author as a response inside this first section if i scroll down i don't have my author here this is because i did not specify this value to the author component so i'm going to copy the statement inside the second section right here i'm going to replace this statement with the author value like this do the same for all the sections something like this and pass this statement to all the components save this file back to the pages and inside the pages as you know inside this post you have this post id and here you also have the author so here you also specify this statement save the changes back to the project and now reload it here you can see you have your author here now just out of that what i want when i click on the post i want to pass data to this related post section so to pass that i'm going to back to the components open the related post inside this child here i have related and to this related i'm also going to have this author so let me just replace this author with this statement like this and at the top right up here i'm going to destructure a few values from the data and this data is coming from this object right from here and then i can pass these values right inside this component so let me just pass this image then i'm going to pass the category then specify the publish property specify the title right down here i'm going to specify title and after that we need to specify this link values as you know in the first section or in the second section you have this post id so i'm going to pass that inside this related right here so i'm going to pass this post forward slash inside this dollar we have this id we need to first import this id here like this let me replace this link component with this href value so we can navigate through different components just out of that at the top you need to pass value to this data so at the top right up here you are going to call the feature function so as you know in the second section you have the feature function so if you scroll up you have this three statement the feature function the is loading component and is error component i'm going to copy this paste that inside this related component right up here i'm going to say import feature from the feature spinner from the spinner file now because you can see we have the spinner file in the current directory that is why i just going to specify here dot forward slash and then specify the spinner i'm do the same for this error as well so i'm going to say here error from the error file like this and save this file just out of that i'm going to pass this data to this post but what i'm going to do is i'm going to iterate over this post data and then print all the components so right down here i'm going to specify an object and specify here data dot map i'm going to call here a function called map of javascript and then specify here value and index just out of that here i'm going to say post 
and to this post we need to first specify key the key is going to be the index value so we first uniquely identify this post parent component and then we pass here data value inside this curly braces we pass this value variable let me get rid of all these statements from down here now what you have to do is you have to return this statement instead of returning this statement i can simply pass here parenthesis like this so now i don't have to specify the return statement here let me save this file back to the project and now you can see i'm gonna have all my components with the author so this is how you can create this complete website using Next.js and Tailwind. If you want to back to your root directory, you can click on this website logo. When you click on your website logo, you can redirect to your homepage. This is how you can create this beautiful website with Next.js. So I hope you enjoy the complete Next.js journey. Now, if you want to download this complete project, you have to check out inside this last branch of this project. So you have to just specify a command called git switch and then specify the branch name, which is 22. When you press tab, you're going to get the name of the branch and press enter. When you press enter, you're on the 22 finishing branch. So if you have any question, don't forget to comment me down. If you find anything useful, don't forget to press the like button. Share this video with your friends. Subscribe for more latest videos. That is all for now. I will see you with a new project in the next one.